I'm gonna say it's Monday morning, but it's actually Tuesday morning. Stay to these tracks again. Oscar's in today, so I think he might be able to wash them off again. Unclip the front off this 7-8 on Thursday. Started up Tuesday morning, no problem at all. So it's obviously it's the radio that's draining the battery. Move out of the way, someone wants a little bit of topsoil. Park behind it. The pressure control valve for the fuel on this is, is sticking. So sometimes it won't start. So if someone come out the other day and order a new one, it's something like 86 quid off Garnet, which is a bit like cramp, or 700 not off Fent. So for now, put my old grips on the return line, pump a little hand pump, and it starts no problem. Hopefully, the part will be here today or tomorrow. No problem. Trusty mole grips. Dave, who does the chipping, just come to pick up some stone. He's doing a drainage job. So this absolute mint 4240. I've asked does he want to sell it Tom Pemberton, but he doesn't. We had a 4230 M reg. This is P. It's just mint inside. gonna paint the wheels because they're a bit rusty but camera on the itch let's put a plug on for jump starting things top links there P reg I think it used to live by Alton Park proper tidy tractor must be dinner time T and J are here <laughs> with two trucks taking OSR out today I think there's uh, 14 loads going out this week so we've done four already today two before 10 o'clock and two at dinner time Morgan's on here he normally shoots off for dinner or Ian so Ian's sorting the trucks out John's loading them Morgan's had the day off I'm going to go and pick up some food so I was going to go Subway but because it's not a drive for I'm going to go McDonald's because I've got dirty boots so I don't have to mess anyone's floor up then we got stuck yesterday with it hopefully we won't today we're going to go and have a mess around now with the drain that's bubbling up and see if we can get rid of some of the water. And then I'm going to go and see Jonathan in the hospital, he's not so good. Um, but yeah, the water's bubbling out of the bankman and then flowing down into the field. Right, we've got the digger in the field, so the plan is dig down, see where that's disappearing to, and then make a channel so that it all disappears down there, if it will. And then we've got half a chance then that this field starts to dry out. There must be a serious drain down there that's been taking this water. I reckon it's been flooding and it's found its way down the pylon leg and then it's what started washing into a drain. So we'll just see how good the drain is. Ah, a bit of a hollow there as well. Hmm, that's a seam of sand. Unless there's a drain in putting sap filled back up with sand. Ah, oh, there we go. That's an old land drain. I'll just get in with a spade now. Now this is a bit confusing, the water's been running in and disappearing down that hole. Now we've got water coming back this way. Is it swirling here maybe, don't know. Or swirling. Can't work it out, I'm gonna have to put some dye in, see what's going on. Right, we're really confused now. We thought the water was gonna go that way and it started going that way. But whatever it is, it's getting away really well considering it's a horseshoe pipe, which is basically a clay horseshoe, which would have had a slate bottom on it. So there's some serious water flowing that way towards the hedge. Now, whether there's a main that then goes that way or whether it goes underneath the hedge, and it's the main that Danny and Chris put in a while ago, hence why it's getting overloaded and then flooding further up the field. So we're gonna dig here and see if we can see a junction. Whatever's down there looks like it's been dug out before, because you can see a shadow in the clay. 
I'm just have a route with the spade. Dad's got the draining rod, divining rods out. He thinks there's a drain somewhere under here. I'm just making a dam now so that water doesn't come in the hole as we dig. I think there's a drain that way. Can't find this drain, but. Draining rods, the divining rods say it's here. But it wasn't there where we eyed it in through that hole. We're looking for shadows in the clay, it's still. Still nothing. Swear it was right on the edge there. We've given up over there, so we're just trying to follow the shadow and the clay there see if we can find it it only looks like it's stopped now doesn't it no it's still going see it perfectly in that line is it tony robinson time team yeah. get him here with his paintbrush might be more used than them bloody welding rods <laughs> it told us it was there yeah, yeah, there'll be a stone. The sand all around that. Right, so it flowed that way and then it's now going that way. Hence why we never found it there. This is where it flows into that, which is a six inch pipe. Hey, look at that. It's got a flat bottom as well, right? I wonder is that even original underneath the embankment? And then it, like, it's, yeah, it's water from the other side. Where it's, where it's bubbling out is over there. So we're just wondering whether it's this pipe bubbling up the other side of the motorway fence, the embankment fence. John's just doing a bit of forestry to get in. I put some dye and it's disappearing. An old clay pipe, you see. Yeah, we think that willow tree might be blocking it there. That's why it's thriving. Slow down and regroup. See it? It's a bit more of the tree that's blown down. Willows are notorious for rooting into drains. I'm gonna roll it. Oh, it's like a catapult. I've just put the spade in there and you can see it bubbling up. So whether it does go underneath and the willow tree blocked it, but there never looks to be more water coming up. So I'm just moving that branch out of the way. There must be more water coming up than that drain's ever possible of taking. Right, we've been rooting there with the digger where it was bubbling and we pulled some bits of roots and stuff out as you can see a bit of a mat there and now it's not bubbling and i put some dye and it just seems to be swirling as if it's now going back down where it should be but we don't know where it's coming from because it looks very clean water or it did
think we may have unblocked whatever. Because it doesn't seem to be coming up with as much force as it was. Oh, you can see there it's bubbling. Yeah, it's bubbling up there still. So. We've covered that back over so nothing washes down it. Then John's digging a bit of a rapids. Yeah, you made it worse now. Can't have a rapids, bro. The lazy river. Get your ring out, Danny. Yeah, it's just if that drain takes it, isn't it? Uh, well, I think so, the main, the, the road main. Yeah, the main, the other side of the fence. That's never going to take it, is it? We've tried to dig a bit of a channel to get it to go down an open drain there to get rid of it. But the volume's phenomenal. Coming out of the, bubbling out there. I think that might even be a 12 inch pipe. There's that much water flowing. Problem is we've only got a six inch pipe to put it down. No. This is where we found a drain to get rid of some of it, but there's no way it's going to take all that there, 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 there. And then it's even flowing around the back of the pylon now. And trying to head this way. I mean, it's, flow, it's been flowing like that, obviously, all the time, but now we've got it to a central point. Unfortunately, it can't take it. Yeah, go on, just see if it's got fluoride in it. Sergi's upset now. She's not on the date. Is it he or is she? He, he, he's not on the dig, he's looking, looking. It's like, where's the digger gone? He's never put your mouth where you were. That's where we've been digging by that pylon. Anyway, the drain must come all the way along. Then it must be piped under that hedge line because we put dye in it and Danny said he can see the dye coming out in the ditch now. So we'll go and have a look. Oh yeah, that's the green stuff coming out now, isn't it? like a sandstone culvert. And there's a pipe there as well. Skyfall update, still growing well. My dad was saying before, oh, it's over there somewhere, but in 1926, they had a steam engine bailing hay I think and then after it finished it came over here and there used to be a hedge from there across to them houses there and they pulled it out with the steam engine after it finished bailing hay in the yard so nearly 98 years ago nearly 100 years ago flowing out full bore that there was that much water bubbling by the pylon it was running down that hedge line and diagonal across the field there find its way to the ditch now we've obviously got it going down that drain a lot quicker than it was but there's obviously still something wrong so hopefully the council will have an idea but they don't think they've got any plans of what it is it's half an hour since we left that and the surface water's actually dropped quite a bit uh, the level in here has dropped down so that drain is taking it full bore You can actually see a manhole ring, I think, now. Now the water's clear. Fair flowing now. Yeah, 
yeah, you can clearly see, can't you, that circle? That's a manhole, and you can see the tree roots all around it. This mass that's obviously found its way into it as well. So whether they've gone down and blocked whatever that should go to. So instead the water's coming up. So we've chased the channel through, getting it down a land drain, but it can't cope. That's why the field's still flooding. Knocking off handy, it's too wet to do anything else. We've messed with that drain. Just gonna go and see Jonathan in hospital. Hope he's okay. So anyway, quickly do the births. We've got Elizabeth Hancock on there, Michael O'Keefe, John Andrews is 60. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around, waffle for about 10 seconds, and then anyone that's fast forward the birthdays will have now started watching again, and then we'll get a shock now when I turn back and go, Harry Burberry is 13, Jill Everett White's on there, and Rebe Rebecca and Richard Keeler are on there, and Rob Manford is 38, and we're now at 63,418 pounds. That was 30 seconds of your life, um, but it's probably raised about 120 pounds for the Northwest Air Ambulance today, so thank you. Anyway, that is all for today. Not a lot happening other than rooting with drains. Might be somewhere exciting tomorrow. Just have to see what the weather is in the morning. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.